Hey, last night when I did my, uh, let's start that over. Last night when I did my um, cold water immersion, it was already too dark to really film. And I went to a lake and I had to, I've been carrying an S-wing, but I had to bring out the, oh, it's, it's hidden, but uh, I brought out the eight pound sledge, but then I decided to come to the river instead because the river has moving water, which prevents the ice damming. So I'm going to move out here while I talk about today. And I didn't put the narrative up yet. I'll do it afterwards because I might tell on myself for some other shit that I messed up on the way out here. Um, I have a bag that I put together so I can come out here and uh, have everything I need. And tonight that bag sits at the house that I'm flipping, uh, waiting for me at the porch. You can see this is a little, little treacherous, but, uh, but this is, um, this is a nice little area. I've been here before doing the cold water immersion, um, and it's a little bit better than upriver where I had to bust ice. Um, that ice is about five inches thick there today, so I, I decided it's also another half mile run that I didn't want to do afterwards because I want to make sure I get nice and warm. But today I want to talk about extremes, and I'm not going to stay in the water quite as long uh, just because I have such a long run back to my car, which is running. Woo, that's cold. Um, but... Uh, I wanted to talk today about extremes um, because we all have them. And that's actually part of one of the purposes of this. Oh, I love this when it's uh, just slush like this. Let me see. It's the slush down to the ice. All right. So here goes the breath. Whew. Get used to it for just a second. So, hey, Terry. Terry knows about extremes. So, um, extremes that I was talking about, um, and I'm kind of, I, the reason I do things like this is because I like to go to extremes sometimes, and sometimes our mind just takes us there. And when we're there and we don't control it or we can't control it, it can be a really bad place. So, um, I've had some very extreme uh on both sides of equations, happiness, sadness, probably like most humans, uh, temperature, climate, uncomfortableness, comfortableness, all those things. Um, and some people tend to swing there. Um, I think bipolar people, unfortunately, I think that there's a, uh, there's a swing they can't control. Um, but the control factors that, uh, that I like to put in place are, uh, are part of the equation. Um, when I was in Iraq, I think the hottest temperature that was recorded while I was there was 134, 137. And there's always arguments about what, what it really was or what it really wasn't. I know it was fucking hot. It was so hot that where these gloves, like I wore gloves like this, where they meet your, uh, your utility shirt, sometimes it'd be a little gap in there and you'd accidentally lay your, uh, you put your, I was a machine gunner. Um, I had a Modus 50 caliber machine gun and, uh, um, uh, a saw uh, in, in a gun turret. So that sun would beat down on that rifle so hard that uh, if you touched any part of your skin to it by accident, you walked away with a blister. It didn't matter how long. So um, if I had shown myself a picture of this, and I'm going to take a bunch of pictures because it's beautiful. Um, I love it when the snow hits just right and it's in these places. But uh, if I had seen the picture of this while I was doing that, I would have thought this is heaven. And right now, I'm going to tell you that I wouldn't mind burning my hand on that uh, machine gun right now. So my whole point today is just uh, the extremes that we can tolerate, that we can't tolerate, that we, you know, mindset. This is the whole point of me doing these every day is uh, just getting mindset. Um, things are going to change. Things are going to happen. I'm in the midst of some of that. Uh, I had a, I have a close friend that, that is very extreme. She's either all or none and uh it was a very difficult thing to read so hey terry um anyway uh i'm trying to be more in the middle um no matter what happens i would like to be more grounded and more capable of handling those extremes um and um dealing with with the nature of of the changes uh as they come instead of having them change me so that's that's the big point for today and i also wanted to throw a couple shout outs to uh i was just thinking when i was thinking about doing this video how hot it was over there and how we would try anything for relief. And I will tell you, if you guys want to take your breath away, not quite like this, but get out of the shower and without drying off, put on Gold Bond medicated uh, body lotion and it will take your breath away kind of like this. And so we would do that over there and 
guys would put it on their uh, on their balls because uh, you do anything to get a little bit cooler. And uh, the other thing that we used over there, I use Gold Bond powder, but a lot of the guys use the anti monkey butt. I think it was just because it was called anti monkey butt. Didn't do too much for me, but uh, it was pretty funny. So anyway, those extremes can uh, tear you up and uh, get in the extremes, be comfortable with the extremes, and that's that's my whole point. So I'm gonna get out of here pretty quick. Um, maybe I'll spend 30 more seconds, but uh, I got to get up that hill and I'm at a different vantage point today than what I normally show, but you can see that finger that goes up right there. I've got to run up that and it's slippery as shit today. So um, I, I wrote it down. So hopefully I won't write it down again now. And I'm carrying an eight pound sledgehammer with me today. So anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. And uh, if you're watching playoff games, good. Hope your team wins. If not, Fuck it, there's always next year, right, Browns? See you guys.